Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Beautiful day today. Thank you all so much for coming out to join us on a very happy and important day in the history of the New Jersey State Park Service. And I know you as local residents have been a big part of this. Um, we're here today to celebrate the dedication of, of Tall Pines State Park Preserve. And this not only is our 40th state park, but it's also the first state park in Gloucester County. I think that's worth it. My name is Mark Texel. I'm the director of the Division of Parks and Forestry, and, and uh, it's my honor today to introduce a, a number of people who have been involved with this project. Um, and we'll have them come up and speak today. I'll keep my comments very brief for the interest of time. Um, and first, though, I do want to thank and put a shout out to the, uh, the neighbors across the street, the Advanced Subacute Rehabilitation Center. They donated water, and there's water over here by this uh, pear tree, I believe, if any of you need something cool during the course of the comments, uh, please help yourself. Thank you for providing that for us. I want to thank all the members of the State Park Service and their counterparts with the county and the Mantua Township for the great job that they've done in putting Tall Pines and getting it ready today for this debut. So first, let me turn the podium over to Tom Keck, the Southern Regional Superintendent and the host for today's celebration for a few words. Tom. Thank you, Director. Uh, so I appreciate being, uh, being here today with the rest of you. Um, it's truly an honor. This special area that's been set aside in Gloucester County has really been a labor of love. Uh, spread out over so many people, um, volunteers, neighbors, uh, Green Acres staff, State Park staff, Township staff. Uh, the partnerships have been incredible. And um, I was first uh, on this property about four years ago. Um, work had started to preserve this um, many years before that. So uh, I really am a newcomer uh, when everything is said and done. Um, I'd like to really especially thank Ken Atkinson and his staff um, with the uh, Gloucester County Office of Land Preservation. The uh, various DEP staff that uh, helped set up uh, the arrangements today uh, and uh, Mantua Township as well. Um, I'd like to just leave that this is a very special place, as I mentioned, for uh, not only the neighborhood, not only the community that surrounds this uh, former golf course, but uh, over time, I hope that people from throughout South Jersey and the state will, will find this place. Um, and for the rest of you, state parks from the mountains to the shore, please come out this summer, enjoy them, they're yours. Thank you, Tom. Well, we always know it's a big day when the, when the boss shows up, and especially on a Monday when, you know, over the weekend a lot of stuff happens in our department and in our agency, and so we, we're very appreciative to today um, to have our commissioner <coughs> join us. In his six years as commissioner of the Department of Environmental Protection, Commissioner Martin has worked to transform the agency into a more efficient and customer service oriented organization in order to more effectively protect New Jersey's air, land, water, and natural resources while making a positive contribution to our state's economy. Commissioner Martin has had a long and successful career in the private sector and continues to play a key role in shaping the administration's energy and environmental policies. So please join me today. It's my pleasure to welcome and introduce Commissioner Bob Martin. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? Yeah, this, this is fun. This is the fun stuff we get to do. Um, I, I'm really excited about today and I've been with the administration now six and a half years. Uh, I'm very proud to be here on behalf of the governor. And in six and a half years, I've never had a chance to uh, go unveil a new and open a new park. So it's kind of a cool day. We get to open the 40th, new, 40th park for the state of New Jersey today. So pretty exciting, right? Good stuff. I want to do a quick round of thank yous as well, and I'm going to talk about the partnership as well here. Uh, I'm going to talk. I'm going to thank uh, Freeholder Director Bob Damager. I'm going to thank Freeholder Frank DeMarco, uh, Mayor uh, Pete 
uh, Scurato, uh from Mantua. I think there's also members of the Mantua uh, Township as well here. I want to thank you for joining us. Mayor Paul uh, Medaney, thank you, Paul, for being here as well. Uh, John uh, Dominger from Winoa, thank you for being here as well. Uh, Ken Atkinson, thank you for your leadership on this. Uh, Richard Delks from the Friends of Maple Ridge, thank you for your participation and support on all this. I also want to thank uh, Christine Nolan from the South Jersey Land and Water Conservation. Thank you, Christine. You know, it takes a lot of leadership and a lot of partnership to make these happen. And so the things we're doing today, are, it takes that kind of work of everyone coming together. And for me in this role, in this job, uh, what I've seen what I've, what I've seen over the last six and a half years is things get done when we do it at all levels of government. And we've got a lot of local participation. We've got groups. We've got nonprofits involved to make things happen. This is one of those great things that's happened when we all come together and we focus on making something really exciting happen for the state of New Jersey. My job every single day is to protect the air, the land, the water, and historic natural resources in the state of New Jersey. We remain committed to those resources for all the people in New Jersey to be able to enjoy and use every single day. Throughout the state, DEP operates and manages almost 800,000 acres of land across this state. Well, we have more than 50 historic sites. We have 121 wildlife management areas. We have 39, now 40, state parks. As a conservationist, it's my job to preserve the treasures of the state of New Jersey. Paul Pines will be for the next generation of all of us, our kids here today and all our families. New Jersey has a strong outdoor and recreational culture. It's helped build family traditions. It has been passed down from generation to generation. Tall Pines, Tall Pines will now be part of that family tradition for the people of Gloucester County. Because of the leadership of our partners, this former golf course now becomes a sanctuary for people and wildlife of this county. Tall, Tall Pines is a rich and diverse natural treasure for the people of this county. There are more than 70 species of birds, including a bald eagle, have been identified throughout the 110 acres. Tall Pines will provide new recreational opportunities for the people of this county, such as jogging, bicycling, fishing opportunities, and bird watching. Many of the paths of Tall Pines will be accessible for people with disabilities. This makes it possible for everyone to enjoy the wonderful experience of this new state park. Tall Pines offers a variety of sceneries and spaces, such as meadows, woodlands, wetlands, ponds, and streams. The purchase of this, which is about $3.2 million, came from monies including Gloucester County, the South Jersey Land and Water Trust, Manua Township, and the state of New Jersey. So again, a partnership that was made for this to make this happen. It does, that my kind of money doesn't easily come together. When all the partners bring it together, it does happen. Over the past six years, the Green Acres Program has purchased over 40,000 acres in the state of New Jersey, and the program continues to move on and continues to grow. The final word on partnerships. Those that know me know that, as I said earlier, very committed to partnerships. Look with the local governments, working with nonprofit organizations to make these kinds of things happen. Tall Pines is an example of what it comes when people come together, organizations come together, that strong partnerships make a big difference and successes come out of those strong partnerships. All of these energies and all the efforts made this a reality today. With that, I want to thank Gloucester County. I want to thank the leadership of Gloucester County. I want to thank all the partners and the towns involved with this to make this happen. I want to thank all of you for being here today, being part of this, to make this happen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Commissioner, for your remarks and also for all your ongoing leadership uh, for my agency and all the others within DEP. Next, I'd like to introduce uh, the county, Gloucester County Freeholder Director, 
Robert Damager to please come and say a few words. Thank you very much. Bob Martin's a hard act to follow, I'll tell you, but uh, I'll give it my best and I'll try to make it as quick as I can. Good morning and welcome to the Tall Pine State Preserve, the first state preserve in Gloucester County. The Board of Chosen Freeholders felt it was important to invest in this natural treasure on behalf of our residents to save it from development. As you may know, the property was once popular Gloucester County golf course, previously known as Tall Pines, later as Eagle's Nest, and most recently as Maple Ridge. After the golf course ceased operations in 2006, the most recent owners of the property, GIGB LLC, originally pursued and secured development improvements from both the Defert and Mantua portions of the property, with the Defert portion receiving approvals for 94 active adult units and the Mantua portion receiving approval for 24 single family units. Due to the downturn in the real estate market several years ago, the landowners were agreeable to pursuing open space possibilities. So many people came together to make Tall Pines Preserve a reality. And this acquisition shows that with enough grit and determination, government and local groups can work together and achieve great things. Saving this land was once, a late, once in a lifetime opportunity, and I want to thank the Friends of Tall Pines for their commitment. And I especially want to thank our Land Preservation Director, Ken Atkinson, and our freeholder of land and open space, Frank DeMarco, for never giving up on this project. Because of all your efforts, Tall Pines will forever remain a natural preserve in Gloucester County. <laughs> Due to its unique setting and biological diversity, the property was a natural fit for preservation for, as open space. More than 70 species of birds, including the bald eagle and a very rare albino red-tailed hawk, have been identified here. There are also more than 50 species of trees and shrubs on the property. The hilly topography of the property, especially in the Mancha Township portion, is also unique to Gloucester County. The preservation of Tall Pine State Preserve brings almost 10 years of work at the state, county, and local levels to a successful conclusion and ensures that this important ecological treasure will remain in its natural state for generations to come. Thank you so much. Thank you for your patience on waiting the eight to ten years that it took us to do this, but as they say, all good things come to those who wait. Thank you very much. Thank you, Freeholder Director. Next, I'd like to invite to the podium Freeholder DeMarco. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here after all this time. And uh, I also want to thank our land preservation team, Teddy and everybody who works with them. It has been a long time coming, uh, but we're here now. Uh, I also would like to acknowledge Christine Nolan, only because the mic cut out when your name was being said. I know what that's like. <laughs> when, you get down, when you get down to me, all the numbers have gone, the 70 species of birds, the 94 homes, the 3.2 million. So I'm going to let you know a little bit how I've seen it. Um, this dedication today is known by uh, Tall Pine State Preserve. It began nine years ago when Maple Ridge closed its doors and sold the property to a developer. The downturn in real estate development occurred, which I know hurt a lot of people, but we lucked out. When the value did not increase and the whole economic downturn caused housing market to falter or stop, this land became a viable piece for preservation. Then the problems came. First to start the ball rolling was Chuck Forsman and Richard Delks, members. I knew I'd get applause somehow. They were members of the Winona Environmental Commission. They were the first to approach Ken and Vicki of the Gloucester County Land Preservation back in 2007 about a county park. This was too much for the county to deal with, both in size and scope and need a little collective effort. Oh, speech almost got longer. <laughs> we needed more bureaucracy. We called in everyone. We called in the FBI, <laughs> National Health, <laughs> not really. We called in New Jersey Green Acres and the DEP, Gloucester County, Mantua Township, Deptford Township, Winona, all the host communities, and anybody else who would listen. 
There are many technicalities and administrative issues to overcome. The roadblocks would be never ending and enormous. This property has to be taken care of in perpetuity. I like that word. I looked that up. That means forever for some of my people that are here. Enter the South Jersey Land and Water Trust, who pledged funding, stewardship assistance once the property was preserved. Not done. A local group of concerned citizens formed an in-your-face group known as Friends of Maple Ridge. And they were friends. And in your face. I know I saw your signs all over the place. They lobbied everyone. I mean, from people walking the street to any political entity, any elected official, to assist in their effort. And in the meantime, they raised $140,000 towards this project. I say thank you. In the end, the landowner accepted the appraisals. Everyone agreed to pay what they said, maintain what would be, what would be needed. And on November 5th, 2015, New Jersey residents just got 109 plus acres richer. And a seven year itch that took nine years to scratch was over. And my contribution here is where the, where the land goes down into a bowl. That was a pivot I left the last time I played. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Freeholder DeMarco. Um, now let's let's pivot from the uh, the state and the, the county side, and let's move down to the uh, people that really uh, talk about the grassroots effort. That would be at our local levels, and I'd like to invite the local mayors to the podium for their remarks, starting with Mantua Mayor Pete Scarotto. Let me just say, uh, Paul Pine State Preserve. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Gloucester County's first state park. Ridge. I would also like to thank the former mayor, Tim Shell, for getting the ball rolling. He pulled up a, I pulled up an old article with a picture of Mayor Shell and committeeman Bob Zimmerman at the time. He's now the deputy mayor of Mantua. They were walking down one of the fairways. The picture was dated 2009. I would also like to mention Rich Dilks, friends of Maple Ridge. They raised $140,000. They never gave up. One dollar at a time. And lots of t-shirts or whatever else they could find to make us some, some money to put towards the three million plus. Uh, I don't think anybody can really understand $140,000 from a small group and what that was like to raise that kind of money. Um, even if it's, it wasn't small by any stretch of the imagination, and uh, Rich is right here and his group, and uh, I can't say enough. And uh, like I said, that's a lot of t-shirts, and uh, we used to see him at Community Day. They would set up a, a booth, and uh, I just can't uh, thank them enough. And uh, so. so in closing, the project was a total team effort. This is an example of different levels of governments working together to benefit the citizens. This project would not have been possible, impossible without the commitment of the freeholders and the assistance of the state. Our town and the surrounding towns will benefit from this generation to come. Thank you all. And actually, this is the first day of summer. So enjoy the hot weather. Love you all. And be Drink some water. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. And we have another mayor with us today. I'd like to invite Paul Madani to, from Deptford Township to please come up. So welcome to a beautiful part of Deptford Township that's now State Park. That's really cool just to say that. And welcome to a beautiful day too. This, I'm, I'm one of the last speakers, so I had some time to reflect back there on all the fun we used to have back at the, when it was um, the golf course. And it was just about golf too. It was all the fun we had. So anyway, um, there, this, this truly is a legacy to all the folks who put this together. A town like Deford or Mantua or Renona or even Gloucester County would never have the wherewithal, and, and really that means dollars, to, to do something like this. But the folks who drove this and put it together, who I've spoke to over the years for the last, well, close to 10 years, your dedication just is fantastic, and, and the proof in the pudding is behind me. 
and it's a legacy to you for future generations. People are going to remember that. They're going to enjoy this state park, and they're going to remember all your efforts. And I hope you're very proud of what you did, which I know you are, because on behalf of 33,000 people who live in Defer Township, we couldn't be more proud of what you did here. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. I want to recognize Anthony Capello, who's here today with us from the 5th Legislative District. Uh, Assemblywoman Egan Jones was unable to join us today um, due to, I guess, conflicts with, with committee meetings. But Anthony, if you're here someplace, jump right over here. Thank you very much for the uh, leadership with this project from the Legislative District. Commissioner Martin mentioned before about the power of partnerships, especially nonprofits and the grassroots effort. Government can't do it by itself. It never has been able to. It's when the people rise up and join us, we can work together as a team. And today, it's my pleasure. We have several nonprofits who really helped this project come to its real fruition. And first on that list is Richard Delks from the Friends of Maple Ridge. Should you please come on up and come down and say a few words? Thank you, Mark, so much. It's unbelievable today, just unbelievable. I stand here in immense gratification that what began as a long shot of a proposition eight and a half years ago is now Gloucester County State Park, and this wonderful, beautiful place has been saved. And I'm going to say just a little bit about the history of our, our group, the Friends of Tall Pine State Preserve. The preservation effort began in January 2008, and it began with members of the known Environmental Commission, as has been uh, mentioned earlier. And it began with one man, one man who had the vision and the initiative to do something to act upon that vision. And that man right there is Mr. Chuck Forsman. And if he had not done what he did, putting together the first effort to save this land, none of us would be here today. Thank you so much, Chuck. Well, it began in 2008, and it was a hard road to hoe. There were many, many obstacles. And finally, by 2010, we'd hit a brick wall, and we didn't know what to do. And so what we did, and by we, I mean the Winona Environmental Commission at this point, we called an open public meeting. Anyone who cared about preservation of, of Maple Ridge, anyone who wanted to do something, come to our meeting. And we didn't know if 10 people would show up, two people would show up. Well, the hall was packed. Over 100 people showed up that night. And among them was Christine Nolan and <clears throat> Ms. McCarthy right here from the South Jersey Land and Water Trust. And that's the night the Friends were born. We began a partnership of our citizens group with the South Jersey Land and Water Trust, and we formed the Friends. And that was the start of everything. And that was a paradigm that worked. We had grassroots citizens organization, and we had the expertise of the Land Trust working together. And together we could go and we could, we could work with the public entities, with the, with the state and the county and the, and the local governments. We could find grant money. And the Friends, the friends were the engine for, for public awareness. We did everything we could think of. We built a website. We had the wonderful lawn signs. We gave them away free. The lawn signs were all over this part of Gloucester County, Save Maple Ridge. Uh, we had fundraisers. We went and set up information booths at countless uh, public events, fairs, and, and, and uh, town days. And we, one, one person at a time, we would speak out about the importance of preserving this land and build a support among the people. And that support, I think, is so terribly important. Because now we have this wonderful park that, and it wasn't just that the friends had, had done it, we played a part. But we know that it's people and government working together to get things done. That's, a, that's also a paradigm that, that works. And that should be something that should be repeated over and over again across the state and, and across our nation. But 
the other, the other message, the other lesson I think that I learned from this is never give up. Patience and tenacity. If you care about a goal, if you care that much that you're willing to do whatever it takes, you don't give up, you don't give in, and you keep going. And that's what, and that was the motto for the Friends, and that's why we, have, why we have such success today, is we did our part, and everyone else did their part. And I want to tell you right now, the Friends of Maple Ridge don't exist anymore. We're now the Friends of Tall Pine State Preserve. We're in, yeah. And we're going to be, we are an official part of the South Jersey Land and Water Trust. We're working together, we are a part of that organization, and we're going to be the official <laughs> Friends group for the park. So all of you out there who love this place, who come to this place and will come to this place, one concrete way that you can support this park is by joining the Friends. Uh, if you have any information, we have information, we have brochures out there, we have a brand new website, friendsoftallpinespreserve.org. Check us out, become a part of it, become a, become a member, let your dues go towards projects in the park, become a volunteer. We have a wonderful park, and public spaces only thrive when the people around them care. And I know the people of Gloucester County care about this park, and this is not the end. This is the beginning. Yeah. And so thank you all very much, and thank you everyone, the Paul Pine State Preserve. Thank you so much, Richard. Nonprofit partnerships are, are the engine of, of success, especially in the, in this, with the State Park Service. So it's next my distinct pleasure to introduce Christine Nolan from the South Jersey Land and Water Trust. Thank you, and thank you for everyone coming today. This is such a great crowd to celebrate such an exciting event. Um, everyone here today has talked about the power of partnerships, and I just, we can't underestimate the power of partnerships. Um, this was a tall ask for the state of New Jersey to create this state park. It was a tall ask to ask Gloucester County to partnership with the state to continue to maintain it in partnership with Mantua and Detford and the South Jersey Land and Water Trust and the Friends of Tall Pines. There is a lot of budget constraints. There is a lot of, um, a lot of work that needs to be done all over the state. And because the Friends of Maple Ridge and all of our voice was so loud and wasn't going away, they couldn't ignore us. And they didn't ignore us. And so when I first came onto this property with Rich Dilks, I, I knew that this was a place that was worth preserving. I knew that it was a place worth the attention of the South Jersey Land and Water Trust, a small group, but we get big things done. And it might take time, but we can do it. And, and so I said to Rich, okay, let's figure out what do we need to do? And he said, okay. We made, our, we made our, our chart and we figured out how much money we had to raise and we figured out who needed to get involved and who needed to say yes. And then we had an obstacle and we figured out a way to get over that obstacle. And then we figured out, okay, um, for funding, we need someone who's going to dedicate a big piece of funding so the county can fall in line and then the townships can fall in line and then the state can fall in line. And we did that through the Stewart Trust. The Stewart Trust is a national um, foundation that gives here in South Jersey, and they gave their largest gift. It was the first gift and the largest gift that they've ever given to create Tall Pines. Once their gift came into place, then the county was able to pledge money, and then the townships were able to pledge money, and the state was able to pledge money. So once we had the, the money in order, we were able to go back to the landowner and say, thank you for your patience, thank you for your interest. Are you still interested? <laughs> It's taken a lot of time, but are you still interested? And they said yes. Um, and then we were able to, then we needed to find someone who was going to own the property and manage the property. It takes a lot of work to manage a property like this. And uh, we came up with Tom Keck, and we brought Tom Keck onto the property, and he saw what a gem it was. And he said, all right, Christine, what do we need to do? And I was like, all right, let's, let's keep going. And many, 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 many obstacles came our way and we just kept climbing over the obstacles and saying, what's next? So today we're celebrating the power of partnership, the power of partnership and funding, whether it was a penny at the store on the corner all the way up through local municipalities to county money, to state money, to nonprofit funds, to the money that was given throughout the entire region, um, to a national 
foundation that gave money. The power of partnership and funding, the power and partnership of getting the project done and owning and, ma and managing it, and in the partnership that we had with the landowner. This was a this was a big ask to ask them to be so patient for us to get this done. So I really want to thank them today. Okay. Next, I really want to thank future participants of the park. This is our park, and so now it is our job to respect the park, to do our job in helping to maintain the park, to clean up the park, to respect the rules of no ATV use and um, cars, and to clean up after ourselves. So this is our park, and the preservation part is done, and now it's time to respect it and enjoy it and allow for the habitat to live here and allow for people to enjoy it. So with that, I want to thank people. Um, just a couple of people that I want to thank in terms of guiding me through the process. Um, I want to thank Fran Rappo, who is here with New Jersey Conservation Foundation. Um, he really, I, there were so many obstacles that came up and I said, Fran, what do we do? And he gave advice. And Mike Dax from Mantua Township. I said, we need a resolution from Mantua Township for this grant. He said, all right, let's get this done. And uh, Ken Atkinson, every question I had, he was so patient and just offered such wonderful guidance for the project. And it, the project went on for so long, we saw people retire, and then people pick up the ball. So Bob Watson, thank you. And thank you, Terry Caruso, for picking up the ball and really finishing it, bringing it to the finish line, with getting all of the paperwork that needed to get done, all the closing documents that needed to get done. Okay? Um, Senator Sweeney is not here today, but we really need to thank him for his support. He brought, our voice kept getting louder and louder and louder, and eventually he was able to bring it to the state level, bring it to the commissioner, and say this is an important parcel that needed to be preserved. So I want to thank everyone from um, the Friends Group all the way up the state level. It was truly a, co a collective effort and um, a wonderful process to be a part of. And uh, like Rich said, we're just getting started. We got lots of invasives to pull and lots of plans to plant. <laughs> So thank you for coming out today and continue to support the efforts here at Tall Pine. Thank you. Thank you so much, Christine. We're almost there, folks. You've been very patient. I know it's a warm day, so the good, good news is we're almost at the finish line. Uh, or as Christine eloquently said, really just the beginning of this new state park. Uh, but I want to lastly thank uh, an agency that hasn't been thanked yet, and that is um, the Green Acres Program. And Terry Caruso, if you are here, I know you're here. There she's right there. Um, she worked on this for at least three and a half years. And one of our former Green Acres employees who, re who had the audacity to retire this year, but he's a Gloucester County native, is John Flynn. He's standing over there trying to hide from us. But we see you, John. <laughs> and, and Bob Watson, who was also, Bob's over there too. So we've got a lot of Green Acres neighbors in this area that really worked on this to help orchestrate this um, this monumental effort. So at this point, um, we've come to the point where now we're going to invite all the people behind me. If you'll take a place behind the sign, which would be behind meaning um, in back of where the black tarp is, and we're going to unveil the sign momentarily. So if I can ask all of our elected officials and, and dignitaries to, to join us. And if you'll walk in back of the sign, and let's get a couple parks people up here too. Tom, John, you guys want to get up here also? We'll, we'll make room for everybody. Get the commissioner. No, don't don't lift it yet. Okay, I'll give you. I'll get, Let's see. Wait, is everybody in position? I'll, I'll count it down from three. And when we hit zero, we can go. Everybody, get on in there. Cameras ready. Richard, you need to be in the front. All right. Do we have everybody in this? Make sure you look up, too, for the cameras. Three, two, one, zero. All right. It's official now, folks. And thank you all for joining us today. And now get out and enjoy 110 acres of preserved state park land. And make sure you tell all your friends and neighbors and stay active with this throughout the years. Thank you so much for coming out today.